So I just got up from my, and got dressed from my first day of camping in my new van. And I actually think that this is really going to work out pretty good. <clears throat> Although I do need to get a little bit more organized with it. But, and I also need to get a divider one to, so that that doesn't look as bad over there. But without the light coming in from those, you couldn't even hardly see any light whenever it's daylight out. Okay, let's see what my view for this morning is. I think that's a pretty good view. So this is my breakfast along with my coffee this morning. We are just going to pretend that those cookies are the cereal that I forgot to bring. And I went ahead and got a Starbucks Frappuccino since I knew that I wasn't going to be bringing my coffee maker this time. Just because this was a spur of the moment trip. And as you can see, even with that, I forgot a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. What I am doing today is I am working on my Everyday E-Deals canvas that they sent for me to try out and show y'all a little bit of, but we're just going to do a little weapon shot on it. And anyway, <clears throat> I am actually camping right now. I wanted to try out my new van for whenever I go camping by myself and it was absolutely wonderful I absolutely loved it this is just a little white tray or not a little one but a big white tray and then A, just a thing of wax, normal wax, pink wax. I don't have my Diamond Art Club one with me right now, but okay. So, and then I don't even remember where I got this pin from. I think it was Amazon, but I'm not sure. Anyway. So yesterday, I had such a, I wouldn't say it was really a busy day, but before I could come camp, come over here to go camping, I had to make sure I was there at 2.30 to pick up my grandkids off the bus, and then wait on the other <coughs> grandchild that gets off the bus around 3.40 at my house which it's just right down the road no big deal but and i thought well while i'm working on the van they can play outside which was good but they wanted to play in the van with me while i had all the seats and everything down and out and all that and my little granddaughter was kind of counterproductive in it so but she was trying to help and then, um, <clears throat> so finally Mama comes to pick them up about 4 o'clock, 4, 4 15, somewhere in there. And I'm trying to get everything done and get ready. I had to took my son to get something to eat, or not something to eat, some, something to drink for the night. And then... I went ahead and came to where I'm camping at. 
which it's just a little campground near where I live at. I've stayed here once before, but whenever I stayed here, it was in the RV or camper RV, one that we pull behind our trailer. Anyway, and so I did, I have been here before, but this is kind of a smaller spot than what we had before. And I just lo absolutely love the view here. I might insert a little picture somewhere around this area. Or not a picture, but a little short clip that I took. See, there's a some bird flying over us right now. So neat. And anyway, I'll insert a little picture of whenever I opened my van doors this morning to get up for the day after I'd already gotten dressed and everything. I know it's a minivan. It's a little tight. It's a little small space, but I don't mind it at all. I really like it. I want to try to figure out a different way to put my bed in here. Maybe get one built just for in here for whenever I go camping that I can take out as well. And the rest of the time, maybe just have it as like a little bench for under my canopy to sit in. I don't know yet. <clears throat> anyway, right now though, we are working on this beautiful sunflower picture. Absolutely love it. And there is a lot of 939. This background is 939, not 310, but so I figure I will try to get some of that done. Let's see if I can find one of my other pins with a four placer on it so that this will take just a little bit less time to get all that done. And I don't know if I will or not. But I got these cute little stickers. I've already done one of them and started on one of the other ones. And I plan on doing these stickers. And then I've got my window covers that I made for my van. I'm thinking about just sticking those on the inside to serve two purposes. One, to let me know which window cover goes in which window, which side. And the other just as a little bit of a decoration. And it's something that I made. And whenever I go camping, I normally see little animals and stuff. So I think it'll be kind of cute. Anyway. <coughs> I was looking for another pin in my stash of pins right here. I found one. Can you tell I like pink? Anyway. So... We, so I got here, it's just me, myself, and I camping today. I got here around 6.30, probably 6.30, 7 last night. It was almost dark. got here in time just to see the sun starting to go down. Which, hopefully, I will never do that again. Because I was trying to get everything set up, and if you have ever been to Arkansas, you know, especially around the water places, that if you leave any light on after it gets really dark outside, you're going to have bugs galore. And that's what happened while I was trying to set up my van to get ready so I had to put the light outside my van and still a few of them got in there but anyway so number one lesson that I've learned from this trip is always get your camping site set up well before dark that way whenever it's time to go to bed you can get in close the doors and Put up your window covers, whatever you're using. 
and go to sleep. Or watch TV, watch movies, whatever. I did. I think I watched a few YouTube videos. One thing, that's the good thing about this campsite. Whenever I go somewhere by myself, I try to go somewhere that does have cell signal. And there's some places that don't, so... If I have somebody with me, it's a little bit of a different story. I don't always go to places that have cell signal, but there's always somebody there that... There's always somebody else there with me. Anyway. Um, I think next time I go camping, I am going to try out a different spot. There is actually quite a few campgrounds, even around here, that I've never been to before. So, next time I'm going to plan it well in advance, get my van packed up the way it needs to be, so that I can do all that. Um, I do... And I don't necessarily have to have electric where I go, especially this time of year whenever it's not real, real cold out yet, but it's not hot either. My Jackery can run my fan all night long. It can charge all my batteries. It can do all that. So, and plus I have a solar panel. I keep my Jackery plugged in. Um, while I'm driving to make sure it stays charged that way. It'll run my fridge. With a full charge, it normally runs my fridge for about three days with me driving. Um, so if I kept it plugged into the solar during that time, it would last longer. One of these days, I would like to get solar put on the roof of my van so that I can <clears throat> have my solar all the time. So even whenever my van isn't running, my Jackery would always be charging. That's what I would like to do. Will that happen anytime in the future? Probably not. <laughs> but I do keep my little fridge in my van all the time. I don't always keep it on, but it's pretty nice if you go, whenever we go shopping, we go shopping in a town near where we live at, and we never can get anything like ice cream, because you get ice cream, it'll melt before you get home with it so and then it just doesn't taste right if it refreezes so we I always keep that and if I know that we're whenever we're going grocery shopping a lot of times I'll plug it in so that if I decide that I want to buy that <clears throat> anyway so, I'm trying to think back on what all has happened this week. This is going to not be in the correct order, I guarantee you, because... Anyway, okay, Saturday, I worked. I always work Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays. It's just my schedule, and then I door dash and stuff on at least one of the other four days. And then I worked down at the shop today for my brother. Um, anyway, I, Josh always brings me a TV dinner to work whenever he picks up his or something for lunch. And anyway, he brought me a fettuccine alfredo chicken alfredo with broccoli which is fine that's one of my favorite tv dinners but i get to the 
break room, I open it up. And there is not a noodle one in this fettuccine chicken alfredo with broccoli. Not one single noodle in it. It had the chicken and the broccoli and the sauce, but no noodle. I think somebody is telling me that I might need to cut back on my carbs. And if you saw, if I end up putting any of my breakfast in here, I'm probably one to agree with that because, like I said, this was a spur of the moment trip and I knew that I didn't really want to get, bring out my cook stove since I'm only going to be here for one day. I'll probably leave here probably about noon. It's about nine o'clock right now, I think. Anyway, my breakfast this morning was some cookies, a little fruit cup, which I ended up throwing away because it just didn't taste very good at all. And I had bought, instead of my normal hot coffee that I normally drink every morning, I bought one of those little frappuccino, van vanilla frappuccino ones. From the store the bottled coffee anyway that was my breakfast this morning i had every and in, every intention of eating cereal for breakfast this morning i've even got the milk in my little fridge over there and i went and bought the styrofoam bowls and the spoons to take with me and then what do I do? I forget my cereal at the house. So not much of a breakfast this morning. I'll probably wait till I get home to get anything for lunch. I do have a little thing of chips right here that I left had left over from my lunch where I was going to take them for lunch the other day. They haven't been opened. Anyway. So, other than that, what else did I forget to bring with me? Even if I wanted, to, I do have my cooking stove with me, but I forgot to bring the fuel for it. And then... Next time I come out camping, I will be a lot better prepared. Um, or next time I come camping by myself, because that's the... I bring the van whenever I go by myself. Whenever Josh and I go, then we take the camper. But... Ooh. It's actually really, really nice out this morning. I absolutely love it. I love being able to be outside. Diamond paint, do whatever I am doing. I just love being outside, period. And not much going on. Um... Oh, this morning, I wish I would have caught it on camera. I'd actually just turned off my camera from videoing a little white bird that was across the river. I don't think it was little. I think it was a crane or something. Anyway, I just turned off my camera from videoing that, and then there was this squirrel in the tree, in these trees in front of me. And I was watching it, and it was in one tree, and it leaps from one tree to the other tree. And I hope, and it wasn't a real small leap. I'm, I was surprised it didn't fall. <laughs> I guess they do that all the time, but it was just so neat to watch that. Anyway. Um... Next time I come camping, I will, I might give y'all a tour of the campground and stuff. 
This one, there's not really any trails or anything to it. Basically, it's just got a really pretty view of the river. And it's peaceful. And I think that's what I like the most about it. This campground is more for people who who do the water sports, the <clears throat> take their boats out and all that. There is a boat ramp on each end of this campground so that you can take your boats to the water. So, but for me, this one is just the views. I might go for a walk here in a little bit, but today, to be honest, I just really feel like all I want to do right now is sit out here and enjoy enjoy this weather and diamond paint. This is, I absolutely love the weather today. So far anyway, it's not cold, it's not hot. I bet it's not over 70 degrees right now. Absolutely perfect. It did sprinkle a little bit last night. I thought I was going to get to listen to the rain in the van, but it never did more than that. Um, I think with my little window cover that's normally on this side, that goes to the side to where the electric hookups and things are at, I'm probably going to end up putting, cutting a little slit making just a little bit of a hole in it so that I can put my cord through there easier so it doesn't pull it down. It didn't pull it down last night, but you can see the little, it kind of indented it in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm really proud of my window covers though because I made them. I did them all by myself. Um, the first one I did cut a little bit too small so I had to redo that one but I used that one to make my smaller window covers for the little two small windows so I didn't really waste anything and I think I'm either going to make one for the front window and the side windows or I'm going to make something with that reflectix to go across like a curtain that'll go all the way across the front of my van for whenever I'm traveling and I'll figure out some clips or some way to hook it up. Instead of putting a curtain in here because I'm not really sure how to do that. But there's nowhere for a tension rod to go in on. And I've tried some other things in some other vans and it just didn't work out right. So I think maybe I might just use the Reflectix. Put like, make it to where I put two little clips on it somewhere in them to hang put it on either the seat belt hanger or the handle to get in and out of the van and just have it go across that way and then maybe something to attach it up higher so it doesn't fall down I don't know yet but we'll see this I would love to be able to do this and just take it I would love to be able to take my van out for like a month and just go and see a bunch of different places but I do have to work so that's not gonna happen anytime soon oops sticking um 
What else happened this week? What else? What else? What else? Um, trying to think of something else that happened this week. My grandson is almost walking. Not quite there yet, but he'll he'll pull up and go from one surface to the next and switch to different surfaces whenever he's walking his way around it. So it won't be very long at all before he's walking. Um, what? I do have to pick up my grandkids this afternoon, which is why I will have to leave here about noon. Because I do have to go home, get some laundry started, otherwise we won't have any clothes to wear for the rest of the week. Which I don't think that would be a good thing. And then... Eventually, though, I think I'm also going to get something to put over these two windows, like just some material or screen material just to hang down somehow in here. I can probably put it up there in that seal and kind of hook it in that way. I'm not sure. Just tuck it in a little bit. But so that if I decide that I want to leave the doors open and there's a lot of bugs and stuff out that I can just sit in there, leave the doors open, and do what I want to. Um, let's see. So I really don't have a whole lot more to talk about right now. I know that wasn't much, and this is just a short little whipping chat. Um, I may add to it, or... Oh, I do have something else. I forgot all about this. I had purchased some paintings from Diamond Art Club because I wanted their Halloween mystery kit, the landscape one. And so normally whenever I do that, I'll get a couple more to make sure that I get the, make sure that I get the free shipping. Anyway, I wanted that Halloween mystery kit. So, I went ahead and made an order and there was, I think it was a Yorkie with the books. And it was on sale for like $20. I got it. And then I got another one that I had been wanting on the website. And then I used, I used some of my points to take the price down. So it ended up right at the $75 for the free shipping for all of these. Anyway. I get the notification saying that my package will be delivered Friday. Okay, fine. Friday gets here. And I am working down at the shop that day. And it says it's been delivered. And I was like, okay, once I get home, I'll get my package. It wasn't that long until I got home. Get home. There is no package on my doorstep at all whatsoever I'm like hmm I had drove past my daughter's house she just lives right up the road from me both of my daughters actually live there but anyway I drove past her house and she had two diamond art club packages on her porch and I was like that's very unusual for her to order that many so I go up to her house and she was gone for the weekend. Anyway, I go up there and they had put my package 
on her doorstep with her package. It's the same street, different address, and two different names. Of course, we both have the last, same last name, so they probably just didn't look at it that close, but I was glad it got delivered there and not somewhere else to a wrong address, but still, it gave me a little bit of a heart attack. I wanted my, I was so worried that somebody had came and got my package, but it's okay. All is well. I got my package. No harm done. I just wish they would have been a little more careful looking at the names on the and the addresses and not just going by last name. But that's okay. Anyway. What else? What else? What else? I actually really think that that is about it. Now that I told you the story of the <laughs> packages from Diamond Art Club. Um, I will see you next time. And hopefully I'll be doing some unboxings here pretty soon. On those Diamond Art Clubs that I just got. I probably won't do the mystery one. But the other two I'll probably do. They're older kits they're not new so but anyway i will see you next time bye so i could have either went out on my on the picnic table out there because it is covered to do this but since it has started to rain I wish it would have done this last night I would have really really enjoyed it listening to this rain while I slept but it didn't <clears throat> so right now I still have this door open it's not too bad on that side but I will probably have to close the door in a minute. And I really wasn't expecting this today. But that's okay. I still have an hour and a half before I have to leave here. Or I don't have to leave. But I want to go ahead and get home about noon. And so I am just going to finish diamond painting and this is my setup in the van. Isn't it just lovely? Absolutely love it. Um, but we're just doing this in the van now. And I'm probably going to need a little more light than this little lantern that I have here. It's giving me someone to turn it off. It's probably almost dead. And I forgot to bring the little charger that that one takes so we'll use this one that's plugged into my jack and this one gives a lot more light anyway so yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and close this door i was hoping to be able to table. I had this fold-up table that can be either really, really low to the ground so that you can sit on the ground and eat at it and stuff, or it can be up a little bit higher. This is the same table that I was using to record outside, 
and I know I'm not going to be able to keep this up much because it's going to get really, really loud, but anyway. I may lay down and take a nap while listening to the rain here in a minute, but for now I'm going to go ahead and do this diamond painting. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all those things if you don't mind, and I will see you next time. Bye! The view out the back of my van window today. It's so rainy, but still pretty. <laughs>